we head into the colder part of the year, many places are opening their doors to those in need of the basics. Community Partnership of the Ozarks is promoting Homeless Awareness Month in November. Our Jesse Emman has a story on their mission and an inside look at shelter on the front lines of those helping the homeless. Many might view homelessness as just another statistic, but Community Partnership of the Ozarks uses those numbers to get the tools necessary to reduce it. For November, they want to bring more attention to the issue, and Michelle Hefcoat is helping lead that effort for CPO. Homeless Awareness Month seeks to raise awareness of homelessness and of some of the service providers that are working in our community to address the needs of individuals experiencing homelessness and eventually, ideally, end homelessness in Springfield and the surrounding area. The hope is to bring in more resources to help places like Veterans Coming Home Center. Chris Rice is a pastor and manager at the center on North Jefferson. They're usually very busy because of the niche that they fill. We are the only day shelter for homeless men and women in the city of Springfield. We serve veterans and civilians. We provide a variety of services that people need on a daily basis, such as laundry, showers. We provide a free store and um, computers, lockers, a place for them to sleep throughout the day, two meals a day, uh, except on Sundays. They are a nonprofit and it takes nothing but a form of ID to be able to get in. They'll be lenient on that if people need to get one, but the goal is to help people in their journey to getting back on their feet. And some of their staff have been in those same shoes, like Quentin Forrester. Me and my wife, a little testimony, we uh, were homeless on the streets for almost two years. And we started coming here to the Veterans Coming Home Center because it was one of the places to come to get a meal, rest, you know, do all that. Now he's two years into working as a team leader. And Quentin views this as a place that hands out hope. What bigger thing can you do for God by servicing him, by servicing his people? The thing is, I'd rather set with the broken than set with the greats. These people are real. They, they have the hurt, the pain. I believe they have lived real life. Jesse Emmon reporting some places like the one you've just seen run off of donations and they'll take food, clothes and several other things to help those in need.